Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Rank Roulette series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we are kicking off with this team that is on the screen right in front of you right now. We can activate those bonus buttons come today, but because we've had two amazing games this week already, I really want to stick with the team. And the other two games that we've lost were 2-2 two and two at the minute. They we're very close and I feel like we could have maybe won those if maybe one or two things that just went our way in those games if you've missed those you'd like to check those out I would definitely recommend checking out the last two days uh, episodes because the hype is crazy in the games you've got one hit kills all over the shop not to spoil anything but Kingler and Haxorus are having a little competition between themselves and this team and it's just been incredible so far so we'll give this team one more run out today we'll probably make some changes activate a few bonus buttons tomorrow if you've got a preference on which bonus button you'd like to see activated remember we've got a switch up randomizer legend maker and a patreon button and um, do let me know down in the comment section and we will make sure to do something with those tomorrow so without further ado let's get into it today the music is on we'll select a cool track as always if you do enjoy this sort of content please remember to drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more pokey content and leave your comments down below let me know what your thoughts are on these episodes we'll kick off with the aether foundation music today because it's a good old classic in this ultra series um and we'll wait for our next opponent hopefully it doesn't take too long but the team so far i'm just loving it that i I don't know, like, the restricted pairing could probably be a bit stronger. Uh, we are very weak to fairy types, but we do have a good means of getting rid of fairies pretty quickly with that one hit KO option. And we've been doing not too bad so far with it, which has been incredible. So I couldn't have really asked or wished for anything <laughs> better with how things have been going on that side of things. I'm super hyped about it. It's been great. And I really hope you've been enjoying the team so far this week. That is the main thing. And remember as well, this week we're doing a little trial on the channel where I will be putting up a more serious competitive content on an evening and bringing back our School of Hard Knocks uh, series which will be 7 p.m. UK time so Greenwich Mean Time plus one every night Monday to Friday this week uh, the team we've got over there is a lot of fun hopefully you're enjoying it and uh, do let me know what your thoughts are on having the double content I'm myself probably gonna drop it next week because I need to just assess what it is like from um, the content perspective I still have a full-time job that I do. I still need to spend time with looking after Thea, hanging out with Tash, and doing other things outside of the content. So it might be a little too much at the moment for me, but I will definitely let you know how I've been coping with it. But remember, we will be streaming Thursday this week. We're gonna be doing some Battle Spot over on Twitch. That'll be kicking off 8 p.m. Thursday, so do come and hang out on Thursday over on Twitch. The link's down in the description, or just follow me on Twitter. Um, I always tweet out when I go live. That's Osiris VGC over on Twitter, uh, so you can follow me there. And um, I'm, I'm getting a bit better active-wise. I do tweet and tend to tweet. Sometimes I have busy weeks at work. It means I can't really find the time to, to tweet out as much as I would like to. Um, but like a lot of the time I do, especially when there's stuff going on. Um, I like to and I try to be more active on there going forward as well because I'm it's it's difficult it's difficult and I'll always say it's difficult it's difficult finding time to be um, really active on everywhere and, and try and, and, and stretch yourself and sometimes you do stretch yourself a bit too thin and yeah that's it so concentrating on different areas um, but yes follow me over on Twitter basically and I'm just jabbering now. Now it's taken a bit longer to find our first opponent than I would have liked to. So what we're gonna do is cut this now and come back straight away when we find our first opponent of the episode. And we got a first opponent, it is ZG. And they are running a team off, we'll get into team preview. Very cool looking team, consisting of Greninja, Incineroar, Mewtwo, Tapu Lele, Gothitelle, and Kyogre. So we've got that trap option here with the Gothitelle. Uh, you've got the Psychic Spam option here with the m probably Mega Mewtwo and the Scarf Tapu Lele then supporting the Kyogre which is the other restricted of the team. Uh, you've got Incineroar the standard on most VGC teams and then Greninja an interesting pick here that offers a dog type support and um, probably helps out a bit more against uh, threats like Lunala um, that this team might struggle against in things like Duskmin and Necrozma with its dog typing there. Also benefits from the rain with its water typing as well. Right what are we gonna do i think trick room is a nice option for us to go down here dialg has a decent lead for sure 
Um, we could go Haxorus again to try and get some one-hit KO action. I do expect my opponent to lead off with uh, Tapu Lele. They may go down uh, Gothitelle and Cinnamon route, but I think the Psychic Spam route is a bit uh, more optimal for my opponent to go down. Um, we will bring Palkia, and do we bring... Hmm... Shift tree could be decent. Kingler also could be very good. I'm going to bring Kingler, actually, because if we can get a Trick Room up, Kingler can do some nice work, especially with the rain up on the field. So I'm, I'm quite happy with these four. Let's get into it. So, here we go against Pikachu Trainer. Is this Lou in disguise using a Japanese card? I wonder, Lou, if you're out there watching. I know she does tend to. I don't know if she watches as much these days, but if you are, I'm, it's just... A perfect trainer for you, isn't it? Uh, Mewtwo and Cinnaroll coming out. Interesting. We're not going to see the Lele make an appearance just yet. That makes a bit of sense, really. Um, I think we go Trick Room. And we go Guillotine. What are we going to Guillotine now? Hmm. The Incineroar or the Mewtwo? What could cause more problem to us? Probably the Mewtwo. Let's Trick Room. Let's go. Guillotine. Mewtwo. Come on, Haxorus. Kingler put you to shame in our last episode. Let's let's show Kingler who the real one hit KO king is. Mewtwo, Mega Evolving, Mewtwo Y. We'll probably get faked out into one of our slots. It's more likely to be the Dialga, I think, to prevent the Trick Room going up. Um, I think that's where you would expect it. But maybe into the Haxorus. There we go. Come on, one hit kill. Ah, it's that it's that tiny little, <laughs> tiny little moment. The oh, Haxorus can't even take that. It can't even take it. It's just ah. Oh. Um, let's bring in Palkia. Okay. Uh, now what do we do? Now what do you see? Um. I think we protect Dialga and we'll go Trick Room with Palkia because I feel like Aurora Sphere is probably something that you have on Mewtwo um, and I think the double in to Dialga is more appealing at this point to go Aurora Sphere and Flare Blitz into the Dialga slot than it is into the Palkia. I'm sad that, yeah, there's the Aurora Sphere. I'm sad that Haxorus has went down without getting a, a one hit kill. Oh, we're going to see a knockoff. Okay. <sighs> so much damage. So much. Uh, all right, uh, but we do get the trick room up, which is nice. Um, do we double the Mewtwo, or do we double the Incineroar? Uh, I don't think we double. Oh, we could double the Mewtwo. It probably protects here, though. That's the problem. The Incineroar is going to be probably slower. Um, we could bring in Kingler. The knockoff's a bit annoying, really. Um, although Pocky will take another knockoff, I think. Um, hmm. Let's cover the Mewtwo. Let's go Earth Power into Incineroar and go for a spatial rend into the Mewtwo. I think the Mewtwo will protect here, but I'm just going to cover in case it doesn't. Okay, it's switching out. Uh, Tablena coming in. Not so ideal. Not so great. Hmm. At least we'll get some damage onto Incineroar here. Darkest Lariat. Huh. What is going on? Palka takes it. It's not really going to do very much though. Uh, we get the Earth Power into the Incineroar. Mm. Um, let's go Flash Cannon into the Lele. We'll not be able to pick up the Knockout, I don't think. We're not powerful enough. You never know, though. Um, and then we'll bring Kingler in on the Palkia slot. It's just otherwise we're going to go just go down. I think Kingler's strong enough as well to come in on a Darkest Lariat from that slot anyway. And then we've got some more opportunities to go one hit KO style, style points. But the Kyogre's lurking in the back. And the problem is now the Palkia... Um, yeah, we would have been better there going for the double into the Incineroar for sure. Uh, the Palkia is at such low health now, it's going to struggle to really combat against like Kyogre and stuff like that. There's a Darkest Lariat coming in. I'd imagine a Moonblast into Dialga here. Um, but we should be able to take that. Kingler taking this 
pretty comfortably. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're not picking up the knockout quite. Ooh, it's a Z move. Twinkle tackle. Twinkle tackle Lele. What? <clears throat> hmm. It's always something I did think about back in like 17. Um, but I never really got round to properly using it. Uh, Dalga takes it pretty comfortably. We're just out of berry range, which is a little bit annoying for us. Um, we'll go for that, and then we'll just crab hammer the incineral. We should be able to pick up the knockout onto incineral with crab hammer. I mean, hopefully, we underspeed it as well. I don't know if we're going to be though. You know, that's the thing. I think we probably don't underspeed the incineral, and that's the biggest problem for us here. Uh, Docus Lariat is this into Dialga? Could have done with protecting maybe there. Yeah, and we're gonna get yeah we'll get the Incineroar, but we will lose Kingler and then we're just down to to Palkia. Crabhammer at least again a knockout here with Kingler. Hmm. Side shock, yeah, uh, just too much for us. Too much. Ah, uh, if Dialga's Barry had activated, it would have been a little bit better. Uh, but pa uh, Palkia are just not in, in any position now to do anything. Uh, the switch into Lele from Mewtwo as well. If we'd Hydro Pumped, I think doubling into the Incineroar that turn, like we kind of touched upon, would have been the, the better way to go. Uh, but <sighs> these Psychic teams are always difficult. And less and less people I feel are running Scarf Lele now and it's that assumption that everyone runs Scarf Lele um, there's not really much we can do Spatial Rend into the Kyogre but we're going to get knocked out either way uh, we just <clears throat> not got the time not got the resources, not got the support to deal with, with this combination uh, Tapu Lele and I think it's highlighting areas in our team that where we are weak You know, we are weak against uh, these fairies and we've got very little um, to be able to, to really combat against them. We've got to rely heavily on, on Dialga a lot uh, for our Trick Room um, and our part steel typing. Um, and we're just not protecting Palkia well enough. I mean, the Incineroar there, having the random knockoff as well, <sighs> taking Palkia down way more damage than what we expected it to do. So, I mean, it's fine. Uh, good game to my opponent. I just think a few things that we need to look at. Uh, going forward with the team and I think tomorrow is probably a day where we make some we activate some buttons So I think we'll finish up today. Hopefully we can have a really good finish like we have been doing We're on a bit of a streak at the minute where we're having kind of a mediocre game that could have definitely been winnable and then going into uh, The second game where it's it's a lot better. So I'm hoping the trend continues. Lee tile defense. Oh, now let's go Necrozma version two. The epic Necrozma version two music to end with an epic finish to this team because I think this is going to be the last time we actually have this specific builder team before we activate some buttons. So it'll be nice to give it a good send off, I guess, before we go into some different stuff uh, tomorrow and Friday. But the team so far this week been incredible. I've been really enjoying it. I hope you have. That's the main thing. Um, and it'll be interesting. I'm just trying to think now if we go for the switch up, which Pokemon it maybe take out to switch up. Um, and if we go for the Legend Maker, I think I probably... Right now? Hmm. Do I get rid of Palkia or Dialga? Probably, I probably would get rid of Palkia, I think. Out of the two restricteds to replace it with something else um, although I do really like Palkia that's the other thing but it's just not as defensively bulky as I like it to be so we'll make some decisions though and that'll be in tomorrow's episode doesn't look like we're gonna find an opponent anytime soon so I'll cut it here we'll come straight back my friends when we find our next opponent of the episode and we got an next opponent of the episode. I'm so sorry, I'm not paying attention. We got oh, a very similar team to what we just played. So maybe we can make some different plays and uh, see if we can adjust a little bit better going into this one. So our next opponent is running Incineroar, Mewtwo, Kyogre, Tapu Lele, Crobat, and the Cartana. So, hmm. 
Trick Room again going to be very good. My opponent really relies heavily on Tailwind from like the Crobat or the Cartana and then the fast mode from the Lele and the Mewtwo. Now I would say the team probably does have a uh, scarf on Lele in this team. You know when you're saying less and less players are running it but at the same time I think it is probably something that my opponent is going to be running here. Let's go. Do we go double trip? We could go. Hmm. Just the taunt is definitely a thing um, on the Crobat. It's just if we had a way to, to nuke it early on would be nice. Uh, where we're not going to be weak to the fairy types. I mean, we could go shift tree, Dialga. Might be a nice option there. Keep Haxorus for the late game. And I think Palkia we definitely need as well. But Salazzle could be good here just for the Cartana. Although... Um, if the rain's up, it makes it very difficult for us to hit it. Especially with the overheat. So maybe we better not, better off not bringing it to this match. And maybe preserve it for a later episode this week. So, um, Cortana could be tricky. The, the Crobat is very tricky. It makes me feel like Mental Herb would be better on one of our Trick Room setters. So at least we've got a way around it. Especially when we see something like Crobat come out. Um, and we are going to see Crobat Kyogre hit the field. <coughs> now I think if you're Crobat you definitely taunt Dialga here. Um, and one of the things we could potentially do is bring in Palkia. Uh, just so we've got a bit more offensive presence in front of the Kyogre. Um, at the moment, we haven't really got too much. And at least with Shift Tree, um, I mean, we can worry seed it. Uh, but I'm going to fake out. And I, I, I am going to bring in Park here, I think. We can take the water type attacks better from the Kyogre as well. Um, and I totally expect the, the Crobat to go trick the, the Taunt to prevent the potential Trick Room. And then tail in the next turn. <clears throat> so there's a fake out. Uh, oh, just really? We could have just went for the trick room. Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? Okay, man, that is disappointing, isn't it? That is really disappointing. Um, it's got a leaf blade, and I don't know whether it's worth going for the trick room now. I think we'll just attack because I think the taunt will come out from the crop. Really? Really, really, really? No taunt. Crobat doesn't have taunt. Why are we thinking about overthinking this so much, aren't we? Uh, so, taking down to our Sash. Takes a bit of recoil damage. And um, there's an Ice Beam. Where are you going? Into Shift Tree? Huh. Really wants to get rid of that Shift Tree. Really concerned about it. Spatial Rend. Does hit. Let's see what the damage is like onto Kyogre. It's decent, so we'll pick up a knockout next turn for sure. Uh, we'll bring in Dialga, <clears throat> and I'm gonna go for the Trick Room. Um, I feel like we get Brave Birded from. I'm gonna go Water Spout into the uh, Hydro Pump into the Crobat Water Spout. Palkia, can you imagine? There's another Brave Bird. Where are you going this time? Into Palkia? Oh, into Dialga. Huh. No taunt and another ice beam. Okay. Uh, we do connect onto the Crobat. And we'll be able to set up a, a trick room, which we could have done from turn one. Um, but we're playing around expecting our opponent to have taunt, which most Crobats do. Uh, whether that Crobat had taunt or not, I do not know. Um, but kind of uh, a victim of our own thoughts in this match but we're sitting pretty nice at the moment me too gonna come in so <clears throat> we're not in the worst position at all uh, we can pick up the knockout onto Kyogre um, or we can double in to the Mewtwo which I think I'm more inclined to do here go for the Hydro Pump and the Flash Cannon into Mewtwo pick up the knockout there if we can uh, the Kyogre can Ice Beam away all at once but it's not picking up the knockout onto anything right now. So uh, both our dragons sitting in a pretty nice position. 
It's just a Mewtwo that could cause us a few issues. Kyle's is going to protect, so... Oh, Mewtwo going to protect. Okay. So, I mean... This next turn, I'm definitely just going to go... Well, do I? Because I really want to get rid of the... Or should we just go after the Mewtwo? I think we just chase the Mewtwo down. Uh, their Tailwind Pit is out. We'll chase the Mewtwo down again, because I think that's the, the one thing that can cause us a few issues later in this game. Uh, Palkia sitting so healthy at the minute. Doesn't really care about the Kyogre. We don't need to concentrate down on that just yet. Um, and if we get the knockout here with Hydro Pump, which we actually... Ooh, we just miss out. So it's good that we doubled in there, just to make sure that the Mewtwo goes down. Uh, we'll probably see another Ice Beam from the Kyogre here. Yeah. Ice Beam, where are we going this time, Dialga? Do we activate the berry? Oh, we get frozen. How many times have we been frozen this week? Twice, I think. Twice? Three times? I don't know. Uh, Dialga does freeze, which is really not ideal. And if it's Incineroar, then it's fine. If it's Tapu Lele, makes it a bit more difficult. Cartana. <sighs> we could really do with... We could really do with Dialga not being frozen right now. Uh, the Earth Power would be extremely useful there. Again, I'm going to double into the Cortana Hydro Pump and Earth Power here. I don't think the Hydro Pump will be able to get the Cortana from this range. Uh, it does just protect though. Well, the Kyogre going to actually attack, I think, here. We could have went for that with the uh, Spatial Rend. <coughs> we need Dialga to thaw out. Come on, Dialga. Thaw out! Ice Beam again. At least not freeze this time. Um, yeah, so we've got... What have we got? We've got Haxorus in the back. Um, I'm hoping that we can throw out with Dialga here. Hydro Pump and Earth Power. The Cortana for the victory. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Please. Kyogre protecting. Okay. Still not this last turn of Tricune. It's a hydro pump. What's the damage going to be like on this? Wow, taking it down to the sash. Come on, Dialga. Thor out. Please, Dialga. Come on. Yes, Dialga. You heard our cries for help and you did it. And we are going to take a victory, tying up our score for the rest of the week. <laughs> the hype train continues <sighs> through all adversity and everything else. Dialga pulls through, thawing out. Getting the knockout onto that Sash Cortana and making sure that we can pick up a nice classy win here today with our Cal Palkia and Dialga core. So that is really good for us. There's the Earth Power from Dialga going into the Kyogre and um, Special Rend will be enough to wrap this one up, take this Primal Kyogre down and pick up a nice victory for us to end the episode today, which is incredible. Um, I'm going to end today actually because we we've got now nah, we will we'll call it a day there because i want to come back and before we have any more matches i want to change up want to activate those bonus buttons tomorrow so we'll, we'll knock it on the head now we'll be back tomorrow we will activate some bonus buttons tomorrow and um make some changes to the team and see if we can continue this run on for the rest of the week the two pokemon that i don't want to see going though are that king lair and the haxorus i feel like they're doing an incredible job this week although the dragons here did did really well so fair play to them thank you so much for tuning in though guys i hope you've enjoyed today's episode have a great rest of your day make sure you're taking care of yourselves and i'll see you for the next one so till then take care and bye bye